Yeah, I think the part that we weren't expecting um, was, you know, you go to school, graduate college, get your jobs, get married, and then infertility. Yeah, we weren't expecting that part. That part was hard. But it was during that time that we considered adoption. It was during that time that that really started to grow in our hearts. And then, you know, Miracle Baby One came along and we were just amazed. Um, and then we were blessed enough to have two. And then we had, you know, life happened, busyness and that sort of thing. And job, career, couple of moves. Yeah. A house that ended up being a money pit. Okay. And That's not helpful. Not this house. <laughs> not this house. <laughs> but there was yeah. there was a there was a lot of life that happened in There's between. Life, yeah. Life happens. Two thousand eight. And, and sometimes today. it happens in ways that you just don't expect it to. But we had the two, and we thought if we were able to get pregnant again, then everything would be fine. Um, but it wasn't. It wasn't, and so when we uh, when we found out that um, that things were not okay, we you know we prayed and hoped that maybe God would pull us through or we'll put, would pull him through. And um, it was uh, eleven weeks when we found out that um, Joshua's heartbeat had stopped. And so that was just hard. That was an emotional roller coaster, but it was also one that I think that it really pulled us together. And, and at this point, know that us being able to get pregnant again and to have a child is not part of the plan. For me, we really wanted an open adoption because it's really important to me that um, that child that we are entrusted with to raise always knows his or her story and the sacrifice and the love that it's going to take for a mom to decide on us to raise her child. Talking to different um, attorneys and birth moms and um, you just have to put it in your mind from the start that just because you don't get picked by a birth mom doesn't mean there's something wrong because everybody wins in that scenario. I mean, the, if, if a plan is put in place and a child is put in a good home, that's that's what you're looking for. And it may not be your good home, but it's going to go into a good home. And that's that's hard to swallow, but that's the way it works. You just hope someday that you're picked and that good home is yours to bring a kid home. <laughs>